Welcome everyone. I've been really anxious and excited to get this video out showcasing the results of the Steam Deck stock thermal paste versus the Honeywell PTM 7950. I really apologize for the poor footage of the gameplay. If you haven't seen my instructional video on how to replace the stock thermal paste on the Steam Deck with the thermal pad, then check it out when you're finished here. With that out of the way, let's begin the benchmark process. The benchmark process for this test is the following for before and after the modification. 1. All tests were performed in the same spot in a room kept at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not a controlled room, but it is very close to the thermostat. 2. A fresh restart of the Steam Deck before the tests are started. 3. Launch the challenge level of the Shadow of the Tomb Raider without touching anything at the same highest preset. 4. Let it run for a minimum of 10 minutes. Typically, I've seen it takes about 8 minutes at minimum to achieve full heat saturation. 5. Using Windows on the Steam Deck, I have set it to the default fan so it's not using the Steam OS fan curve from Steam Deck Tools. 6. There is sensor logging every 5 seconds or 12 times per minute for both the fan RPM and the CPU temperature. 7. We're simply focusing on the CPU temperature and the fan RPM. While there are many other sensors that were logged at this time, I can provide those data sheets if anyone would like it on request. So I'm not going to make a fancy graph right now. You guys want data and you'll get data in its finest format, a spreadsheet. The sheet is laid out so the stock paste results are on the left and the PTM 7950 results are on the right. On the leftmost column, we have each section broken down into each minute during this test. The test starts from the moment that Tomb Raider is launched. Then we have the fan RPM, followed by the average RPM per minute. Then the temperature's reading and the average temperature per minute. So just at a quick glance here, you can already see ramping up from idle, we are seeing a significant difference with about 500 less RPM and about 10 Celsius less in just the first couple of minutes. A little after the two and a half minute marker, the stock pace temps hit a rising 80 degrees Celsius and continue to rise. Meanwhile, the PTM 7950 continues to stay in the mid 70s as we continue on to the six minute marker. Eventually the fan averages out in the high 5900s for the PTM and the temps are starting to get closer together compared to our stock paste. At the end of the test of the stock paste, we are left with a top of 6301 RPM and 84.8 degrees Celsius. I left the test running for the PTM because it still wasn't fully saturated. At the 11 and a half minute marker, we finally hit 80 degrees Celsius and ended up with a top fan RPM of 6010 and 80.3 Celsius for the temp. So to summarize the results of this test, for the fan we're seeing a 423 RPM differential on average and a top differential of 291 RPM. Then for the temperature we have a 6.4 degrees Celsius differential on average and a 4.5 degrees Celsius differential on top end. So I think I can safely say that the PTM 7950 is a great upgrade that's going to definitely net you additional cooling capacity. Not only do the temps basically remain between 4.5 to 6.5 degrees Celsius less, but there's an additional headroom of the fan that we didn't even get to on this test. So then I went ahead and ran the PTM 7950 with the same test for almost two hours. About 38 minutes in, you can see it briefly hits 81 degrees Celsius, and that's when the additional RPM kicks in, and ultimately it leveled the temperature between 79.75 degrees Celsius and 80 degrees Celsius for the remainder of the test.
Thanks for sticking with me on this journey in the quest for better cooling on the Steam Deck. I personally think that the PTM7950 is a great option that's going to really keep your fan running quieter and system cooler overall. Also, it is one of the easiest and safest and most inexpensive methods to replace the stock paste. What do you think? Is the PTM7950 the best cooling mod? Leave a comment below and let me know. As a closing statement, I have heard and seen claims of 8 to 10 degrees Celsius differential using liquid metal or the frost sheet, so there's a few factors that I like to keep in mind and I'll leave that here with you. Number one, not all steam decks are created equal, especially when it comes to cooling thermals. Number two, since the environment is not a closed system where ambient temperature and humidity remain the same, it is very hard to get a perfect benchmark that will compare equally in all situations. Consider benchmarks as more of a ballpark or best guess. And finally, number three, without a proper benchmark, a result is just a claim, which means that there's no proof or factual evidence to back up what is being stated. If you would like more content like this, please subscribe, join my Discord in the description, or leave a comment below. Thank you and have a pleasant day.